Now, the World Food Programme and the Ghana Meteorological Agency have inaugurated climate-conscious clubs in 10 senior high schools in the OT region. The club is to promote green climate consciousness generation and ensure health cultural practices that will ensure a safer environment. There's more in this report. Ten senior high schools in the T region have had green climate clubs inaugurated in their schools to ensure the environment remains greener for a healthy living and mitigate climate change effects on the environment. According to the World Food Programme, climate change could affect food security and increase hunger and malnutrition up to 20% by 2050, hence the need to inculcate into the younger generation climate-sensitive habits. Climate change and climate-related disasters and shocks pose a particular threat to food security and nutrition. Findings from the fifth assessment report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change indicate that climate change could increase the risk of hunger and malnutrition up to 20% by 2050. The United Nations Food Programme says the OT region is strategic for the launch this year because it is currently benefiting from its interventions in the agricultural sector and would help sustain the gains made so far. The World Food Programme considers the choice of OT region as very strategic and prudent because it is one of the regions that are currently benefiting from most of our interventions. Oh. Equipping these young ones with the requisite knowledge and skills to combat the effect of climate change is in the right direction as it will lead to sustaining the investment made in the region. It is our hope and belief that these young ones will be the agents of change in their schools, communities and Ghana at large that these young ones will lead the campaign and war against climate change and help their parents to adopt climate smart agricultural practices. For the Ghana Meteorological Agency, there is low awareness and sensitization of climate issues among the youth. One key development with the agency discovered in addressing climate and weather related issues is the lack of sensitization among the youth. The opportunities to address this issue gave birth to the concept and formation of green climate clubs in high schools. The Green Climate Clubs seeks to give immense support to specific high school students to gain deeper knowledge and understanding on climate sustainability and environmental development. For the Environmental Protection Agency, government and its agencies must go beyond the pageantry of planting trees to ensuring the trees are nurtured to ensure value for the investments made. Well, my concern is that the tree, tree nurturing, it is what we have, to, we have to talk about. You plant many, many trees, you have to make sure that there, you have a group or there should be, a, uh, what is the name, a group where they are interested in taking care of the tree. Taking care of the trees is what we are interested in. EPA is interested in the number of trees which survive so that they can serve as carbon sink. Not the pump a pungent tree where we say we have going to plant this number of trees. At the end of the day, nobody goes in there, takes care of the trees, and they, all the trees die. Peter Sanu for Joy News.